Welcome to another episode of the Intermediate Financial Accounting 2's Our Community Counts. In this video, we'll be focusing on a company that provides pensions, particularly defined benefit pensions, for its employees. Embracing diversity and inclusion creates a more open work environment that goes beyond employment equity to where differences are accepted and celebrated. We are committed to achieving and maintaining a workforce that reflects the demographics of the communities we serve. This is a quote from the Manitoba Hydro website on its diversity page and highlights a key promise being made by the company, which is to attempt to recreate a workforce that reflects the demographics of the communities that they operate in. While companies normally set targets, and as we've seen in other episodes, for example, companies that determine that they would like 30% of their board of directors to be made up of women, while some of these targets get set, oftentimes they are not perfectly reflective of the actual representation of that group in the population more at large. Manitoba Hydro is a little bit different in that it has specifically uh, uh, achieved a reflection of, its, of, of the demographics of the communities that it serves. So Manitoba Hydro is an operator of hydroelectric infrastructure in Manitoba. They have committed to diversity and inclusion through the use of workforce management. They aspire to have a workforce that ma matches the demographic makeup of their province. So Manitoba Hydro states that to match provincial demographics, 18% of their employees should identify as Indigenous peoples, 9% as visible minorities, and 6% as persons with disabilities. Within the most recent annual report, they disclosed that 19.4% of the province-wide workforce identified as Indigenous peoples, greater than the 18% that they stated was a goal, and 48.8% of the Northern workforce identified as Indigenous peoples, which wasn't a goal that was explicitly set, but shows the separation uh, and that sometimes matching with what communities look like requires getting a little bit more specific. And 8.2% identified as persons with disabilities, once again exceeding the target, and 9.2% identified as visible minorities. So Manitoba Hydro exceeded all of the targets that they set. Manitoba Hydro actively maintains a defined benefit plan for its employees. This begs the question, do targets set by various organizations go far enough? What should targets look like? How much consideration should there be for quote unquote business needs in the short term? If you'd like to know a little bit more about Manitoba Hydro and its commitment to diversity, please find the link here to the diversity careers page for Hydro Manitoba.